Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're looking at the final robot in uh, the robots that I took to Robot Havoc 2 uh, from ARC. So today we're looking at This Is A Party and how This Is A Party did uh, in the A-League. So of course This Is A Party is my vertical spinner that we've been working on for a little while. Finally getting it down to a pretty decent point. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go jumping straight on into the fights. Uh, so the first fight up is Bucktooth Jr, which is a robot made by the same people that made the Swarm. So they're an interstate team, they are an awesome um, team themselves. And they're actually on the pit table next to me, so I got to talk to them a lot during this competition. It's a nasty little drum spinner that's made uh, completely 3D printed in carbon fiber. I think carbon fiber nylon, but I could be wrong on that one. Uh, so it's a tough looking little bot. Let's get to the fight. Three, two, one, yes! So I got unlucky in that one. Uh, the pit was open the whole time because this was actually the second fight of the day. Uh, and yeah, there was some issues with the pit so it didn't actually close before the fight, which meant it was just open the whole fight. Uh, and I got lucky a couple of times kind of around there and then of course I uh, did end up accidentally driving myself into the pit. I thought I'd turned a little bit more than that, but still managed to uh, snag a wheel in the pit, and that was about that. Now, obviously with this new arena, we're fighting in a longer, thinner arena with the uh, kind of midsection that gets raised up on one side, and then you've got the uh, metal around the edge. So with this as a party, one of the things I wanted to do uh, is, or at least the aim for this competition, is to get an out of the arena. And I clarified the rules. Uh, if I managed to get somebody up onto the platform between the two arenas because there's an antway arena on one side then there's the middle platform then there's an antway arena on the other side uh, if i manage to get somebody up onto that middle platform they're out that counts as an out of the arena even though they could theoretically drive back off that into the arena again they are out once they're up on that little table uh then that's it and i mean i could also get up there as well because this is party does like to bounce around all over the place on its weapon uh, so it's very possible that we could end up there at some point ourselves. This all leads me into our second fight. Uh, so this one is up against Blade Tip. Now, those of you who have been watching this channel for a while should know Blade Tip. It is a really uh, nice rectangular, almost indestructible robot with titanium fins out the sides and out the front. Uh, those titanium fins give me some really nice bite with my weapon and so normally when I fight them I send them all over the arena, throw them really really high up and like slant, come slowing back down. So blade tip is my first chance, like first real chance to see if I can actually get an out of the arena. Three, two, one, game on.
So we, we got a win, <laughs> but we didn't get the out of the arena. Um, and oh, that was a scary fight because that pit takes up so much of the middle section. When I hit and go bouncing around the arena, there's always the possibility that I'm going to end up bouncing myself into the arena. Uh, also, as you kind of saw there, that final hit, I bounced him into the pit and bounced up off the glass near my own camera. Uh, and if I'd done that wrong in any way, I could have knocked him out and also ended up on the tabletop myself. And then it would have been a double knockout and it would have been a draw. I think that's how that would work. I don't know. I don't really want to test that theory uh, moving forwards here. Um, yeah, so that was that fight. That was a good fun fight, actually. <laughs> I really do like fighting Blade Tip. Like I said, it's a really indestructible bot. And uh, yeah, I throw it around a lot, but I also throw myself around when we take those hits. So... Yeah, with these big open pits, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, so next up, we are going to go straight on into the next fight. So the next fight is up against Rhino, which is a spring-powered flipper. Now, Rhino is one of those robots that he has quite low ground clearance. Um, so it's a case of who gets under who as to what weapons get active. And of course, uh, with the flipper that he's got, if he throws me backwards and I'm just going to ping pong around the arena, and take a little bit of damage myself before either ending up in the pit or uh, self-riding. So let's hope he doesn't get too many flips in. Three, two, one, here we go. Huzzah! We got the out of the arena. Um, so we managed to get Rhino up onto the tabletop. Uh, and yes, that bounce of me bouncing around the arena as I come off of a hit is quite worrying. Also, I'm starting to detect a little bit of a wobble back again in the weapon. I think I'm basically uh, wearing down at the tooth here, which means that the whole weapon is actually coming unbalanced again, uh, which is really not good. Um, because as we've seen in the past, when this weapon is not balanced properly, I start bouncing around like this, basically, and I get uh, wedges in underneath me, which is not what I want, because it means it's impossible to hit them with the weapon. Uh, speaking of wedges that might get in underneath me, we're going up uh, against our next opponent, which is Dynamo. Dynamo is a wedge-shaped track robot, uh, so... The idea with Dynamo always, the idea with Dynamo is to go for the tracks because uh, they are nice and big and kind of exposed. So hitting those off is always a good way to take out Dynamo. So that's what we're going to attempt to do in this fight. We'll see how we go with that. Uh, yeah, they're normally quite a low wedge, so we'll, we'll have to see how this fight goes. Three, two, one, fight.
So that went really quite well. Um, we did actually get Dynamo's tracks, which is exactly what we wanted, but in the process, uh, I did lose a side of drive and it was actually, I think the ESC died on that side. So I had to swap those out uh, and I've still actually got in, uh, this is a party, a borrowed motor, which I do need to give back uh, to Chris, the guy who builds shrapnel. Um, yeah, so, Thankfully, he borrowed, lent me a motor. I do need to get a few more spares of these. I've been kind of burning through them a little bit. I think it's because this is a party does bounce around so heavily. It does take a toll on some of the internal electronics. Uh, I mean, it's good fun and it's hilarious to see it bounce all over the place, but it, every single bounce is doing something to the robot. Um, and yeah, my components inside this is a party last a hell of a lot less than the same components in any other robot that I've got. Um, yeah, okay, so that there though is the four fights from our round robin group. So we're now through to the finals with a one loss and then three win record. We're more than uh, seeing ourselves through into the finals. Uh, so first up, we are going up against Sideswipe. Now, if you watched last week's video, you know that Sideswipe is a very nasty horizontal spinner. Uh, so a horizontal spinner versus a vertical, this one is going to be explosive. Three, one, Just, wow. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite fights from this weekend. It's certainly one of my favorites to watch back again. 
that was crazy. There is so much going on in that fight. Uh, we both almost ended up out of the arena at various different times. I lost one side of drive. Um, he lost his weapon in there. And then we finally managed to get him stood up on his back without his weapon working and get the win. That was an intense matchup. That, oh, just so many really powerful hits, so many things kind of going wrong and going right, and just, oh, just, that was a great fight. I'm actually, I'm just going to go watch that again, because that was, that was awesome. I, you guys can go watch that again too. Just scroll back a little bit and watch that, same, watch that fight again. That was, that was a fun, fun fight to be in. Obviously, it was great to be on the winning side of that, but even if I'd lost that fight, I would not have felt bad about that. That was a awesome fight to be a part of. Okay, so having won that, we're now moving through up into the finals bracket. Uh, well, up, yeah, up inside the finals bracket. We're already in the finals. Uh, and we're going up against Tron. Now, uh, Tron is a lifter grabber robot that we haven't really seen at ARC for a little while. He's been busy and doing other things, but he's come back uh, for Robot Havoc 2. And this was actually awesome. Um, because Tron actually, in his previous fight to this one, managed to knock out Antimatter. Now, those of you who've been watching this channel for a while know that this is a party and Antimatter have something of a, a grudge going on. And I have some upgrades planned for this is a party to be able to take down Antimatter. But with all of the robots that I built for this event and everything else that was going on in my life, I did not have time to get those done. So I basically knew that if I was going to go up against Antimatter, I was probably going to lose that fight. Unless I got some really lucky hits, it was probably going to go Antimatter's way. However, Tron managed to beat Antimatter in their semi-final fight, so that means I'm fighting Tron, which is a really low to the ground lifter grabber combo. I have fought him before, uh, but not with this as a party. I fought him with a version of a little obvious and managed to rip his whole top arm off, but I think he made a driving mistake when that happened. So. Uh, hopefully he makes a driving mistake this time because otherwise he is quite a low flipping robot. Two, one, game on, here we go.
Oh, and that weapon wobble was an issue in this fight. Um, yeah, so we got very, very lucky there. We definitely were not winning that fight. We were completely outclassed on driving and control uh, against Tron. He had just had me anywhere he wanted me in the arena, almost in the pit a couple of times there. Uh, and I got very lucky with a couple of shots across the back, which knocked out one of his wheels. Uh, and then because he was then kind of crab walking in the corner, it was, a it was able to go in and take out the second wheel. But uh, there was a lot of luck in that fight. We definitely uh, were getting outclassed on that one. And because it was the finals, if that had gone to the judges, if that had actually made it there, I'm pretty sure Tron would have got that on uh, control and aggression. I did do a little bit of damage, but not a lot, because I was not I was struggling to get the weapon engaged. So yeah, it would have been his uh, definitely on a judge's decision. So we got very, very lucky there at the end. And with that, we are through to the grand final now. Um, and not only are we through to the grand final, but we're versing a familiar face. We are versing Bucktooth Jr. That's right, we are starting and ending the competition versing Bucktooth Jr. Uh, so the, after the last fight, and something I didn't mention, I had put cracks in his chassis uh, in the last fight, and he had to glue those back together for the event to keep the robot going. Uh, so we were both kind of expecting that I was going to put those cracks back in the chassis, but then it was it's going to be a fight after that to see whether or not the chassis completely explodes or if he gets some good nibbles on me, because I had some damage up the front here as well, and of course this one... I Unless something goes really badly wrong, this one's going to go to the judges. Three, two, one, go. happened again. <laughs> the same robot, the same thing, <laughs> just in the pit. That was a really, really unlucky timing on that one. Obviously, because there's no warning, no lights, no sound or anything like that, uh, yeah, got the unlucky bounce, ended up on the pit just as it opened. Uh, and yeah, that was, that was that fight, essentially. I mean, we did still do a lot of damage. We did actually crack his chassis again, this time ripping the front uh, mount off which actually left his drum kind of loose and floppy at the front, which actually worked out well for him. There's a couple of shots in there where I hit that drum and it just kind of wobbled around the place and the robot stayed still. The robot wasn't taking too much more damage because the drum itself moving was soaking up that impact. Um, and yeah, it meant that I wasn't throwing around. After I'd cracked that front arm, I stopped throwing around all over the place. And it was that one final good hit at the end that threw me into the pit uh, which is where I hit something that wasn't actually that drum and yeah, it would have made a difference if we had been the other way around if he had been closer to the pit, but you know, that's that's life. That's combat robots. That's a combat robots with a pit in particular, uh, but that does mean of course We got second place. We got second place uh, with this as a party for the A-League Destructive. So that was a pretty decent run. There's a few very minor tweaks I want to make, and of course there is the upgrade to uh, take down This Is A Party that I want to do. 
But I'm feeling pretty good about, uh, sorry, not this is a party, antimatter. I want to take down antimatter. I don't want to take down this is a party. That's my robot. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm feeling pretty happy about where this is a party is sitting right now. Those few minor upgrades, and I think we'll be uh, we're doing pretty damn well. Um, yeah, this was a good event. Lots and lots of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this entire series of all of my robots that are coming through. Uh, the final kind of note I'm going to leave here on is that ARC have now decided to go to a two-monthly system. So rather than fighting every single month, we're fighting every other month. Um, just so that all of us have more time to work on our builds and all of that kind of stuff. So the fight reports are going to slow down a little bit from this channel. Uh, but I'm going to hopefully keep up with builds and other bits and pieces that I'm doing around the place. So there won't be any slowdown in my videos. There will just be less fight reports overall and honestly i think it's a good idea it gives everybody a bit more chance to build some robots anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed that one and i will see you in the next video <laughs> <laughs>